Hey everybody, James you here. Welcome to my first episode in my series of uh, tutorials for Nitro Panel. The control panel for Nitrous Networks is Minecraft servers. Uh, they're the host I use. So, in this first episode I'm just going to go through the basics of using a server, setting up your server and how to connect to it, um, and what all the uh, what all of these tabs are. So first, the first screen you'll come to after you've logged into the Nitro panel is this screen, which shows you the servers you own. This just shows you your community servers, which we don't have any of. Uh, they basically give you a dedicated server. You can have as many uh, virtual servers, which is what this is, on top of that. I'll talk about that in later episodes. Uh, and then you've got their Twitch Twitter feed here. Uh, so just tweets they've done and forwarded and stuff so you can get updates on so Rust is one of the game mods they do uh, Minecraft they add to it and then this is the news in the blog area so yeah so first what you want to do is uh, look at your server so here's your IP address so uh, when you're connecting to your server you want to copy and paste that into Minecraft go to direct connect paste that in and then join server and the game is a Minecraft server. Player limit's 12, but you can change that in the config to look like more, but it recommends 12. Uh, status is stopped, so the server is running. And it shows the memory usage, which I think is bugged. So, first we'll go into Manage. You can go back to Home there. So, here you can basically control your server um, in the simplest way. So you've got your start, your stop, and your restart. So you can start the server, you can stop it again, and you can restart it, so you don't have to click stop and start again. Um, so we've got the upgrade server, just that's there if you want to upgrade your server, it's probably just advertising. Um, then we want to click this wrench, you can set the, you can reinstall the server, so delete all the files. Uh, you want to be careful with that. Uh, you can set the server's name, so we'll do that now. So, uh, uh, Zaya server or Zaya factions. I think we'll set this up as a faction. Set this up as a faction server. So we'll just set that name. So manage stuff Zaya factions. We can go to home now, and the IP slash server name. The, so the IP will have changed to Zaya factions. So next, uh, we've got the server address obviously here. And then um, next thing we can do is create host name. So this will create your custom IP address that you can join the server. So it's whatever you want, .nn.pe256600, which is the port. Uh, that doesn't matter, but... So we'll say Zaya Factions. .nn.pe256600. So we'll just create that. And then here we've got our uh, two addresses then. So next what you want to look at is the console here. So this just shows you everything that's happening on the server. You can see what people have said, private messages, con commands people have run, everything. So uh, it's saying no such file or directory because it hasn't created a server log. Uh, so we need to start it and create all the files for it to create that. So down here you can enter commands, so op James Yules, or whatever your name is, and then it'll run that, but obviously the server isn't running. You can pop out the console, so bring it out into another window if you want to go and look at file manager with, while looking at your console. You can resume the console or pause the console. So pausing the console is useful because the console always wants to go to the bottom and show you the latest things. So you can pause it, don't let any new things come in, and just scroll up, see something that was half an hour ago if you wanted. And you can resume the console. So now I'll go into setting up your server. So first thing you want to do when you create a new server is click start and it will create a vanilla so default minecraft uh, so you can hear, see here it's generating the spawn area of your server so it will um, set your server up for the latest version of minecraft vanilla minecraft or default so 1.7.9 is the latest version at the moment probably 1.8 if you're watching this in a little while so here it's created the spawn area uh, so that's just created the area for you to spawn in. So when you join Minecraft, it will have a pre-generated world, and then you can go around and generate the random generated world, because that's what Minecraft does. Because it's awesome. So 
now we have a created server. It's running using 295 out of our 768 megabytes of RAM. And there are no players online. So you can look at them there. Uh, they're very hard to see, but there are two little bars there. Um, so the next thing we want to do uh, after setting up our basic server is we want to go to File Manager. And here we can see all of our um, files and everything. So the first thing we want to do is op ourselves. So we'll go to ops.json, which sorry about that, which is two bytes at the moment, which is just these two. I think that's two bits probably. Uh, so no bytes, sorry. So what we want to do is op ourselves. So all we have to do is type in our Minecraft username here and whoever else we want to op. So I'll just op the everyone from the Zion network. Uh, Zombie Zeke. 270. So then we click save edit. Um, so that's saved who's opt on our server. So the next thing we want to do is go to server.properties. This is where all the properties of your server are. So uh, we've got forced game mode. Uh, I'll talk about all of these in a later video. But we're just setting up our default server. So what we want to do is scroll down, look for whitelist, and we want to set whitelist to true. And then save edit. Uh, that will turn on the whitelist. So a whitelist is only the players on the whitelist are allowed to join the server. So now delete that and we'll whitelist ourselves. So uh, James J. Rules, Gunnerstown123 and Zombie Zeke 270 So we're the ops on the server and let's just say Supreme Martin um, DMC like and Higgs131 they're all just players that you can't set that in here but I'm just saying so these are our ops here so all of these people can join the server but nobody else can join the server so to activate it all so, so to implement these changes all we have to do is hit restart and it will restart our server update all the files and only those people will be able to join the game so there you have uh, ignore all of this this is just weird stuff. It's bugs in the code I think. The Minecraft server code. But uh, here we go. So it's restarted the server and you now have your default whitelisted vanilla server. So in next videos I'll go into how to customize the server, install game mods, so Technic mod packs, OCR launcher mod packs, etc. Add bucket plugins, do backups, do scheduled tasks, map, use the new map store. Lovely map store. Um, and basically modify your server to make it how you want it to be. But here we just have our basic server. Um, so whitelisted with our ops and everything. So thanks for watching guys. Um, see you next time. Bye.